Hello, Decision Makers. This is Thursday, February 11th, 2021. And this is the Bible study, uh, Sabbath.school slash lesson book. Uh, yeah, so SDA Bible study. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in sickness and in wealth, Isaiah 38, 39. What does the above quote tell us about how important good leadership is for God's people? I did read the quote, and then I was like, like not to completion. Uh, and I was like, eh, like, I really don't in involve in the in-between stuff. And so I just went to 38, 39, looked for a quote that appeared applicable. And to me, that was 38... One of Isaiah. So, yeah. Um, 38 1. Let's see here. So, yeah, what does the above quote tell us about how important good leadership is for God's people? Good leadership. I cannot say that enough. I mean, we need it. <laughs> Anyway, I'll just go to Isaiah 38 here for a reference. Doop -doop, doop -boop. Uh, in those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, came to him uh, and said to him, Thus says the Lord, so this is you know, the quote I believe is applicable. Set your house in order, for you shall die. You shall not recover. So you want good leadership, so you can set your house in order. And if you don't have good leadership, you won't get your house in order, and you'll die. There's a lot of events in between those things, but in a roundabout way, it's possible. So that's why let's just not even chance it, and have good leadership. And, yeah. Mm, what sign does the Lord give Hezekiah to confirm his faith? 2 Kings 28.10, Isaiah 38.6-8. So, what sign does the Lord give Hezekiah to confirm his faith? Um, something observable shall go back. 10 marks or forward. So maybe similar to a second sunrise. Um, as a sunrise can happen twice in a valley. So if the sun rises, then it moves. Well, we turn. I, we're still working on the phrase of it all. Anyway, and then so the, the mountain kind of covers. So there's a sunset. And then again, the, on the other side of the mountain, there's a sunrise. And later on, a sunset. So anyway... Um, and, uh, another way of it, looking at it is to go back might mean reaccounting events, thinking in reverse. So, just simply that, I guess. I guess it's a, maybe a little more scientific, kind of recreating results, that kind of thing. Maybe like a social science perspective of, um of, well, fundamentally love. Son, Father, Holy Spirit, Mother. And just that connection building. So recreating that foundation and making it stronger. That's how I interpret it. How did Hezekiah lose an incredible opportunity to glorify God and point the Babylons to him? What was the result? Isaiah 39. Hezekiah, who should have been witnessing to them about the Lord, pointed instead to his own glory. What is the lesson for us? So, so the question is, um, how did Hezekiah lose an incredible opportunity to glorify God and point the Babylons to him? 
39.3, Hezekiah recounts his interpretation of who they are and not as they were. So, what I understood from that, let's see here, Isaiah 39, move this over here, move this over here, um, let's see, 39.3. Then, the, then Isaiah the prophet came to King Ezekiel and said to him, So what did these men say? So he's like, well, so, you know, what was their experience? And from so, and from where did, did they come to you? And so he so vaguely says, right? Hezekiah said, They have come to me from a far country, from Babylon. Okay. And he said, What they... What have they seen in your house? They have seen all that is in my house. So, again, this whole vague thing. Um, yeah, just, just an opportunity. Just a missed opportunity. What was the result? Um... Oh yeah, that's just the question. What was the result? Isaiah says Hezekiah is losing it all. That's the message from the Lord. So, let's see here. Hezekiah, who should have been witnessing to them about the Lord, pointed instead to his own glory. What is the lesson for us? Balance well your accomplishment with God's graciousness. So everyone has accomplishments, and how is it obvious God made this allowed for you? I mean, again, good leadership, right? If someone's doing a video, and they have a decent video machine, a cell phone or whatever, um, who brought that cell phone into the country? Like, a good deal, a good leader... You know, the back to the leadership thing. And that good decision making is probably, if not completely, from God's <laughs> intervention. Because God is love, and if the loving is where a person's mind is, they're making loving choices. Now, not everything's perfect, but love helps people make better choices. So, that's what I got from that, so...